All right, so we just received a question based on a video that I did a couple of weeks ago. And Renee, go ahead and take away. What was the question that was asked? The question presented was, should I have a holistic home birth? Yeah, and so if you didn't hear it, it was the question is, should you have a holistic home birth? And for this video, first of all, I want to let you know, my name is Marcus Boston and I am a birth trauma or birth injury attorney. And what I do is I help families be able to investigate the cause of their baby's traumatic brain injury. And if an individual is negligent, I work to uh, help the family hold those individuals responsible financially for the cause of the brain injury. And so in this video today, I'm not going to just come out and say, yes, you should have a holistic home birth or no, you should not have a holistic home birth. The purpose of this video is to give you three areas that you should research and you should make sure that you understand in trying to make the decision as to whether this is the best path going forward. Now, a lot of states have different rules and requirements for a holistic or for a home birth. And so I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to say, just make sure you understand what your state requires in regards to that. But the first thing that I think you should make sure that you understand is your medical history. Is this your first time having a child or is this your second or more uh, time having a child? And, and you know, you got to make sure that you understand what's going on with your body and with yourself during your pregnancy and during the process, especially if this is a, a second birth, you know, in your first birth, did you have issues that, that came up? For example, was there gestational diabetes, preeclampsia? Did you have shoulder dystocia? Were there any other things that may have come up during during the process. And if they did, you need to make sure that your holistic provider or, you know, if you're going to do this at home, you need to make sure that this is known and that, that the provider understands your history and what's going on. The second thing I would say is that you need to have a birthing plan. And by that, what I mean is you need to take some time and think about what do you want to accomplish through this process, it, you know, going all the way into who do you want to be present with you as you're going through this. So the second thing, which is very important, is that to take some time and think about your birthing plan. Number three, and this is extremely, extremely important. Make sure that you understand that if there, if things do not go as planned, what are the contingencies or what things are going to be in place if complications or issues arise during a holistic home birth. The reason I want to say this is because as a birth trauma and as a birth injury attorney, when we are contacted by individuals who have say, you know, they've had a holistic uh, experience at home and things went wrong and their baby now has a traumatic brain injury. And a lot of those cases, there's really not much that we can do for this family because they are outside of an institution. And these cases, they take a lot of money to be able to help these children out. In a lot of instances, if a child has suffered a traumatic brain injury uh, at birth, and this is something that's going to be with them for the rest of their lives, it can cost in the millions in regards to care for a child in this type of situation. And so, especially over their life. And so if you have a holistic and you're away from an institution, a lot of times there's just not enough money that is available to help that child moving into the future. So again, it, when it comes to that third aspect, make sure you understand the contingencies that are in place. If things do go wrong, what, what happens? How far are you from an e, from a hospital if need be? Uh, paramedics, things of that nature. Will there be electronic fetal heart monitoring of the baby as the process is going on? These these are the type of things that you need to make sure that you understand when you're going to make this, when you're going to make these decisions, because the more information and the more knowledge that you have, the better uh, you are able to make the best decision for yourself and for your family. If you have more questions, maybe you're watching this video uh, because your baby has suffered a traumatic brain injury and you had your baby at a hospital and you know, and you have questions in regards to what caused the injury. Was it something that the doctors or the nurses of the hospital, is this something that they were responsible for or was it something else? If you have that going on, there is a telephone number down below. What I invite you to do is go ahead and pick up the phone and call me. I speak with families like yours all the time about these types of issues. When you call 
call my office. Just make sure that you pick a date and a time so we can know when to get back in touch with you, a date and a time. That is important. In addition to that, understand that I practice law here in the state of Maryland. I know from time to time, you know, because this video is on social media, it is on the internet, it's on other platforms. I'm not going to be able to control who watches this video and who decides to call me. Just understand that if you are not in the state of Maryland, that we have to use what we call co-counsel or local counsel. In other words, you're in the United States, but you're not in Maryland. Just understand that we have to use an attorney in your state. And that's something that we can look to help, you know, work with you on. But I just want to make sure that you understand that co-counsel or that local counsel aspect of things. All right, this is going to be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law here in the state of Maryland at Boston Law Group, LLC. Talk with you next time. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.